Hello everybody, my name is Dulasha Kavindi Disanayaka and I'm from group 8. So, when we talk about the post-operative period of a patient, his mental health is actually a crucial factor that you should take into consideration because different patients can show different responses and emotions when they are informed that they have to undergo a surgery. So, this video is about a few steps or coping mechanisms that you can use to calm him down and bring his mental health back to normal. So, uh, the first is to control your own responses and reactions. You should be mindful at what you are doing or saying at whatever the patient is throwing at you and just make sure that you don't blurt out random words just for the sake of talking. So, the next is to be a good communicator. Listen attentively to what the patient is saying and be very careful about how you respond. Uh, it is also important in this regard that you practice empathy. So you should actually make the patient feel that you genuinely care about him or her because this is the only thing that will make the patient comfortable with uh, about talking to you and communicating with you or otherwise the patient is just going to fall to an even worse state. So the next thing is something that is actually neglected in a lot of uh, hospitals is to don't lie or make false promises or give the patient false hope just for the sake of comforting him because unknowingly this might actually take a huge total on his or her mental health during and after the surgery. It might not be a big deal to you but it's a big deal to the patient so you should definitely avoid doing this. And the next one uh, don't make him or her feel that his or her problems are unimportant. So show that you really care and show do your best to convince the patient that you're doing your best to make him or her feel comfortable and that there is no reason to worry. So the next thing is uh, actually a thing that you should do that is uh, attempt to learn the cause of behavior and remove it. So there might be a certain reason that the patient is expressing this kind of behavior. Maybe it could be stress, it could be anger or sadness or anything. And if you can get down to the root of what's causing this, uh, you might want to try your best to eliminate it because this will make the patient feel a lot more better and maybe even rid him of the post uh, pre-operative stress. So the next thing is while you're doing all this, you want to make sure that you watch the patient's responses to your approaches because when we talk about patients in the preoperative period, uh, what, uh, how you react to one patient might work for someone and also on the other hand might not work for someone else and vice versa. So it is important that you adjust your behavior to suit the patient's current needs. So all in all, after all this, uh, you should uh, make sure that you are patient. Do not display outward outbursts of emotions smile because positive behavior can actually go a long way when you're dealing with a mentally uh, discomforted patient and uh, make sure that you have good posture and body language and make sure that whatever you do or say or show does not send the wrong message so i hope you found this video helpful thank you